So far, we've looked at the kind of structure of the council and how effective it was. Another thing we need to think about is how popular both Elizabeth and her regime were in the 1590s. And we can split this into um, a number of different sections, if you like. First of all, how popular was Elizabeth and the council at court? Now, there were two things that um, were unpopular um, uh, at the court. One was the size of the Privy Council, and the other was the conduct of the war. Um, because the um, Privy Council contracted in size, and um, very few um, younger members uh, were appointed, um, this was a, a bone of contention with many younger generation men who had been looking towards the death of um, established councillors to free up places on the Privy Council so they could um, pursue a political career of their own. In the 1580s, Sir Philip Sidney had griped and complained about um, you know, Elizabeth being, you know, a fussy old woman and not promoting younger men. And by the 1590s, this kind of tension was much stronger. There were also complaints that the council was a regnum Sicilianum, a kingdom of the Cecils. We know that Lord Burley was on the council and his second son, Sir Robert Cecil, from 1591. But also, Burley's first son, Thomas Cecil, was president of the Council of the North. And Lord Cobham, who was a member of the council, he became related to the Cecils through marriage when his daughter married Sir Robert Cecil. Now, these tensions about the council, about its size, about um, the way it wasn't open to enough young men, and the apparent dominance of the Cecils, exploded in 1560, um, sorry, in 1601, when the Earl of Essex rebelled. 